So I haven't decided if I'm going to venture to Old Navy or not because they are doing $2 tank tops. And I do apologize for the noise. It is my windshield wipers. It's raining. I need them to be able to see. So I'm sorry. Um, but they have $2 tank tops today only and free flip flop with the purchase of 35 or more. Yesterday they had $5 leggings. And I like Old Navy leggings. I do have a pair, and I'm pretty sure I could fit in a 2X of their regular, like, cotton stretch, plus, not plus, regular cotton stretch black leggings. I have a pair, and they are a 2X, and I fit in them. I, I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive. But anyways, so they had the $5 legging a sale yesterday. They're, like, doing these whole, like, big sales every day of the week or whatever. So... And it says women's, kids, juniors, or something like that on the on the ad. And then in little fine print, it says excludes plus and maternity. Why? Why are you excluding anybody in a sale? Tell me why. I want to know why you feel the need that plus size people don't want the cool sale and the $5 leggings. Tell me why. And and I, to I was talking about it with my husband and... I made a point. I said, you know, it's irritating. This happens a lot in a lot of their sales. They'll have $10 jeans, but they won't have plus. They'll have $10 dresses, but they won't include plus. Everything pretty much on sale besides flip-flops, because most people can flip, flip, you know, your feet or whatever, um, are not including plus, and it's irritating. And I said, and on top of that, they also have things that they upcharge. Not like, okay, 2 $3 because it's plus, like... $15, $20, even up to $30 I've seen at Old Navy that they've raised their prices. I will insert a picture of the two exact same dresses. One is in straight sizes, one is in plus. That is the only difference. The only difference. And I will even do the biggest straight size to the smallest plus size so that they are literally only one size difference, okay? This dress is $29.95. It's on sale right now. And versus the plus size, which is $44.95. Are you kidding me? Why is it that much of a difference for small uh, straight to plus? And now companies always want to say, well, we use a lot more material for plus, and the demand isn't that high, and this and that, and this and that. It'll, you know, it won't, blah, blah, blah. All these excuses. But I'm going to tell you right now, those are BS invalid excuses because if you're going to sit there and say that you use more material for plus size women's outfits or sizes or whatever then you should upcharge from an extra small to a large or an extra small to a medium or a medium to a large every size going up should be a couple more dollars then if you're going to give me that excuse as to why you upcharge plus size women's clothing then every size should be upcharged you want to make it fair, that's the way you do it if you're going to have that excuse. And if you're going to sit there and say that the demand is high enough for trendy, cute clothes for plus-size women, are you kidding me? The struggle is so ridiculous that we just recently, in the last couple years, have come leaps and bounds in the plus-size industry. Certain places weren't even carrying plus-size in-store. You had to shop online. You couldn't find anything cute. You could barely find a cute swimsuit line, and then you have to have these plus-size bloggers come out with their own line in order to make any any leeway in the plus size in the plus size uh, fashion world I don't understand I want to understand why I have to feel that I can't wear cute clothes because I'm plus size because I'll spend the money on them you make them I'll buy them and I'm not just talking about like targets Ava and V that's slightly you know pushed into the maternity section or you know Torrid who's ridiculously overpriced but people flock to Torrid because we don't have many options so they'll spend $70 on a pair of jeans that flock to places like that because it's the only place you can get cute stuff like that that is somewhat decent um, decently made you can shop at Forever 21 but Forever 21 is Junior Plus you could shop at Charlotte Rue's and it's decent cute clothes I've definitely bought things from there um, Rue 21 is okay it's pretty good I like their clothing but you know there's only a few choice places that you could buy plus size trendy clothes. Um, Walmart is stepping up their game. Target is ugh, Target. I have a love hate relationship with Target's one of my favorite stores, but but their plus size sec section is lacking big time. Ava and V 
it's just needs to do something. They are frumpy, they are oversized, and you shouldn't be excluded out of sales, and you shouldn't be upcharged because we need to use more material. If the butt use is just to make money, and then to sit there and say the demand isn't high. The demand is high, and that's why you could do this. That's why you could do it, and that's why you could do these price gorge, uh, gorges and price upgrades and shit like that. That's why, because the demand is so high that you can do it. So, you know, I would love to see designers ex in include everybody. No, in include it, everybody. Don't just exclude and make a statement. Like, plus size women aren't a statement. We're humans. We aren't a statement for your industry and to make, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't agree with it. I don't know. I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> 